Thank you for watching this short informational webinar about the Ensuring Appropriate Claims Payments project being implemented by the Colorado Department of Healthcare Policy and Financing. The department's mission is to improve healthcare access and outcomes for the people we serve while demonstrating sound stewardship of financial resources. This presentation will inform providers about the project, provide policy guidance at a high level, and instruct on next steps for preparing for the implementation. Here is the short agenda we will go through in this webinar. First, let's talk about the purpose of this project. The Ensuring Appropriate Claims Payment Project is being implemented in direct response to Senate Bill 18266. This bill requires the department to implement cost savings approaches. This project is a cost control initiative to better manage Medicaid expenditures, including curbing fraud, waste, and abuse, as well as modernizing our medical claims edit and utilization management programs. The project aims to improve billing accuracy to better support providers by minimizing claim resubmission and recoupment. Here is a high-level timeline of the project. In September, the Claims Extend tool will be implemented. And following that implementation, in late fall, the department will implement the EAPG improvements. So as you might have noticed, there are two components of the Ensuring Appropriate Claims Payment Project. Firstly, for outpatient hospital payments, the department and DXC are working to map 3M Enhanced Ambulatory Patient Grouping, or EAPG, return codes to edits in the Colorado Interchange. For other professional and outpatient claim types, the department and DXC are working with another vendor, Change Healthcare, to implement their Claims Extend tool to automatically review claims for appropriate billing practices. So let's talk about Claims Extend. As mentioned before, Claims Extend is a product of Change Healthcare. The Claims Extend tool automatically reviews claims to identify inappropriate bill coding and to reduce overpayment. The tool will increase billing transparency, so providers submit accurate claims for reimbursement on the first attempt. As part of the implementation, system modifications will be applied to Colorado Interchange to accommodate claims editing changes necessary to meet state and federal requirements and policies. The Claims Extend tool will be accompanied by the implementation of Change Healthcare's Clear Claim Connection, or C3. C3 is a provider portal which will contain all roles and also allow providers to submit test claims and see how the system will function. Claim submission processes will not be impacted or changed because of the Claims Extend implementation. At this time, only professional and outpatient claims are impacted by Claims Extend rules editing. Professional and outpatient Medicare crossover claims, home and community-based service, or HCDS waivers, inpatient hospital, and outpatient hospital or community clinic will not be impacted by claims extent at this first implementation. In order to prepare for claims extent, the department asks for providers to review the rules contained in the Clear Claims Connection tool, which we will notify you when it is available. Additionally, DXC will be hosting provider training sessions on the Claims Extend and the C3 tool. That training will include a tutorial for using the C3 tool, 
so that you can see how to check your claim submissions before actually submitting them. To move on to the EAPG improvements, we will look at the components of that project next. Outpatient hospital claims currently process through the 3M EAPG grouper. 3M has several return codes that edit on invalid or incorrect data on the claim. This project will utilize 3M's return codes to increase the accuracy of claims review and adjudication by mapping the return codes to Colorado Interchange edits to either pay or deny. To prepare for the improvements to the EAPG software, if you are already licensing 3M EAPG software, make sure you are current with their releases. Prepare for the new edits and error codes being returned from the EAPG grouper, and prepare for the new error codes coming from the Colorado Interchange. In short, make sure you're staying up to date with department billing guidance for outpatient hospital claims and any other information being shared through the provider bulletin. If you have additional questions about the implementation of this project, you can always send an email to hickpuff underscore claims extend at state.co.us. Our web page, as seen on the screen, will contain additional information as the project progresses, including FAQs, this webinar, other materials published, and any communications about the project. Thank you so much for taking the time to listen to this short webinar. Have a great day.